Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I am super, super excited. I just picked this up from DHL. So this is my Fontome Tarot from La Mucci Designs, my Kickstarter. I can't wait to get into it. It originally came in this plastic white mailer box and I just took that off and slid the bottom. That's all I've done. Let's get into it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join me on Tarot Nap Plans on my Facebook group and on IG. See you in a second, guys. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into this bad boy. I know I had a few add-ons, so I can't wait to get into this. I know she had mentioned this beautiful box she made really nice so it could be reused. And can I say, I'm in love. The crystals, the spider webs, the potions, the candles, the bats, like, oh, and I love it. It says the magical box, like, ah! Look at them goodies. So cool! Oh my god, we got a little card holder to start off. A small token of my appreciation. Fontome card holder. This will be great as I'm learning the deck. Thank you for making this project come to life. Um, cool. Good book out! Oh well. Very nice card in the back. Ooh. So, you will see that I already have a deck. Oh, is this better? Let me just grab something real quick, guys. Nope, never mind. Anyway, really, really nice bag. It doesn't close the way I want it to, but it is a beautiful bag. So I got a cleansing kit with mine, Ooh, which is really nice. We got some Palo Santo, a sage stick, some amethyst. I want to say that's Clear quartz or rose quartz? I'm going to have to check the slip. Some little packing peanuts. Wow, the deck box is beautiful. It's all pretty light, actually. I feel I thought it was going to be heavier for some reason. The deep frost runic deck. Oh, the little notebook. Cute. Wisdom Oracle de la Mucci. That was an add-on for sure. Oh, and a nice postcard. And I got the tarot cloth. Oh, and there's something else in the bottom. All right. Super cute. Let's get rid of the fox. I received a few Kickstarters at this point, but everyone is totally different. Oh, wow. These are the mystery stickers. Very cute. So I guess these are like all the different things from the deck. Very, very cute. I can't remember if it was one page or two. It looks like it was one. Oh, these are really nice, high-quality stickers. They cut a little odd, but very, very cute. Very, very cute. So, let's get into the star of the show. I know that's why you're all here. That's why I'm here. So, let's get right into this bad boy. So, if you can all recall from La Fontaine, this is the deck that has the 3D app, and I absolutely will be downloading it. I cannot wait to see how this bad boy is going to work in action. I can't actually show you because I actually use my phone to film, but, you know, I'm sure there will be others that will do so. Really nice gloss box, Fontaine tarot deck. 
very very nice Lamucci designs and I will have another video coming up tomorrow I believe I'm gonna upload this right away um, with my other deck from Lamucci designs which is the fairy tale deck which I also really love so there's the inside of the box simple Got a little guidebook. Oh, full color. Oh, that's nice. And you got upright and reverse in a paragraph. Oh, very nice. And that's from majors and minors. That's wonderful. That's great. And then we have our deck. Ooh. I'm so excited to get into this bad boy. How do I do it, guys? I think I see a grabby thing. Do I see a grabby thing? Yes, I see a grabby thing. Oh, this is an interesting card stock. Definitely on the thinner side. Not sure how I feel about that. Do you feel a plasticky? Hmm, interesting. We'll have to see how they shuffle. But look at that shine. So we're going to do a quick little flip through here. I'm not going to get too much into it. I want to spend some time with this deck because I know it's very unique. But you can see all the glowy pieces in it. And, you know, I wasn't sure. It was kind of hard to see some of the imagery during the Kickstarter campaign. But I loved the idea around it, having the app. I did love the color scheme. I did like um, the, the way the people are drawn. Um, like this is very interesting. It's kind of... You can't really tell if that's a man or a woman. So it could be anything. There does seem to be some gender neutral imagery in here which is really cool and i love all the glowy aspects don't mind the nails i painted them a couple of days ago but man i was not waiting to get into this bad boy this showed up at my sister's like two hours ago maybe i don't know i was napping i worked a crazy shift oh it is this way and um as soon as i woke up and seen the dhl dropped it off I was on my way to go pick up this bad boy. Oh, I love this. I love how futuristic it is, but it's not like overly futuristic. This is so great. I'm loving this and I'm loving all this navy. And the little glowy bits. Hope you guys are getting a good view of this. I don't want to go too quick. Like I want you guys to see the cards. Like she's super gorgeous. The world card. And you still got your hand in your aces, which is great. So I'm definitely seeing it is very RWS inspired. Which is nice. It's almost like some of the people in it are a little bit alien-like, which is cool. With this guy. Let me know down below if you back this deck and if you've got it yet or you're still waiting on it, what your thoughts or impressions are. Um, I feel like they're going to have extra copies. Don't hold me to that, but I feel like it. Let me know if you were interested in getting a copy. I'm super interested. I know this like had a lot of backers and Everyone was super stoked waiting for it. So I'd love to know who got it, who didn't, who wants it. Maybe you heard all the hype and now you're like, eh, maybe not for me. So far, I'm really liking the imagery. It's not as fantastical as maybe I thought it was going to be. I don't know how to express that right. I'm not disappointed. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not disappointed. It's very, very pretty. I'm just not sure about this cardstock. But, you know, as I use it, I'll figure it out and maybe I'll let you know in the future. But as of right now, I'm totally happy with it. 
I love the imagery. I love the colors. Like I said, I love the like coral bits here. And with all this blue, very, very cool. And I don't have anything like this. Like I do have some like, I feel like um, this might hurt, might be a little bit similar in the way the people are drawn. But even that, it's its own ball game. I don't have anything that's kind of alienish. I use that term lightly, alienish. Um, like this, I have nothing, and I don't think I would ever get anything more alien like like this. This is kind of as far as, as I would go. Um, but I'm loving this. Your wands are super pretty and glowy. Like, look at the, all the glowiness in that card. I'm interested to see how that's going to work in the app. Oh, God. This was just a fun project to back. Whether or not how much I love the deck, I thought this was a cool one to back. I really want to see it come to life. I want to see how the app is going to work with it. You know? Oh, look at that Queen of Wands. Isn't she gorgeous? Your swords. Her eyes are still covered, just in a different way, but still covered. So yeah, very RWS inspired from what I can tell. Which I'm I'm really glad it's not Pippish. I'm really, really glad because I now have a I have a small collection of decks that I find a little Pippish, which I'm not ready to use because I'm not ready to do pips yet. Um so I'm really glad because I definitely want to use this. And I feel like this is cool because it's not any sort of... I don't feel like this is going to leave me trapped in any sort of season. I feel like I could use this at any time. I'm feeling pretty confident in that. I don't feel like this is going to be like, oh, this is my summer, or my fall, or my winter. I feel like there's a lot of blue, so I could say it's a spring deck. But that's just the color. Oh, look at that. Oh, these are the extra cards. Oh, cool. I totally forgot there was extra cards. So we have the artist, which she's holding tarot cards. Cool. And then the reader. Very nice. I like those. So let's see how these bad boys are going to shuffle for us and pick a card and read about it. Now, don't take what you're seeing here as how they shuffle because, you know, I'm not an A plus shuffler. Clearly. Oops. See? Not a plus shuffler. But they do seem like they're going to shuffle okay. Oh no, what did I do? All right, let's just pick a card here. What do I need to know about you? As a deck, what do I need to know about you? The star card. Ooh la la. Here we go, the star card. Upright hope, faith, purpose, renewal, spirituality, and reverses lack of faith, despair, self-trust, and disconnection. Well, hope and faith. This is a hopeful deck. The star card represents good luck. It suggests the reader has a dream that is about to become reality, or a specific part of their life will be soon filled with satisfaction and happiness. The reader may have recently gone through a tumultuous or challenging time for the star symbol renewed, Hope and, and belief in future. There was much knowledge and wisdom to be gained during their struggles. And they are now reaching a period of reprieve and peace. Which totally makes sense. I've had a crazy week. But now I get to relax all weekend. So that totally makes sense for me. Ooh, I love it. So it's a really nice deck. I'm very happy, and I think there's, like, room for me to put stuff in here, which I think is cool. 
Let's take a little look at some of these accessories if we can. Oh, the cloth is silk and they give you a little instructions how to take care of it. That's cool. I will take a picture and insert it at the end of this video so we get a better look of this cloth, but it's very cool. What else do we have? Oh yeah, let's get into this little accessory kit. Sage sticks, some Palo Santos. A nice chunk of amethyst. Oh, I'm super. I love how dark it is. Oh, she's gonna be nice. And she's almost heart shaped. Look at that. Oh, I love amethyst. And I want to say this is rose quartz. I'm gonna check my order, but I feel like that's rose quartz. So very nice. And we have this nice little card stand, which is great. Always muchly appreciated. And I got a little notebook, which is cool. So I could even write down some of my spreads as I start. And I got these two other decks. So let's take a look at the other decks. Oh, wait, before we do that, let's see how she fits in her bag. So the only thing I don't like about how they strung these, it doesn't like cinch. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to make it cinch. Yes, that's how you make it cinch, but I don't like that. We'll see. I don't know. If anyone has a way to fix the string, let me know. Um, so let's, yeah, let's take a look at these two other decks quickly here. So this is another rune deck. So I haven't really started studying my runes, but I have collected now a couple of rune decks because I want to, and um, I feel like these will be really good because they have the keywords on them. And I like this color scheme, which is why I got it. The backs. Keeping them in order. I don't know if like the order really matters, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of these words because that's not going to go over well. <laughs> But yeah, this is the Deep Frost Runic deck. I know on um, La Muchi Designs, they have a few Oracle decks. They have a few Runic decks. I definitely like this cardstock. And I love like the black foresty trees in the background. I thought that was really cool, which is why I wanted this one. And then it was shortly after I ordered all this, like a month or two later, um, an actual rune set came up on Kickstarter. So, you know, that happened. But it was because it was coming with like a really, really good guidebook, which is why I picked it up. So I'll be excited to get that guidebook in. So that's the rune cards. And they're a nice little, like, I guess, poker sized, I feel like. These boxes are a little odd. They're like a nice thick cardboard, but they're just a little weird. Let's check out the Wisdom Oracle deck. I want to fold right open. Oh, we got a cover card. Oh, these are cool. 
So these are the backs, which are totally pretty. With that cover card. Healing transformation, life changes. Life energy and clarity. Independence, curiosity, exploration. These are so pretty. Purity, patience, self-awareness. Protection, sharing, and friendliness. Protect, dreaming, childhood. Focus, observation, and awareness. Time, power, divinity. I like how all of a sudden that white really comes through. Death, rebirth, symbol of feminine. Love, compassion, life-giving. Deeper awareness, feelings, and luck. Protection, survival, and strength. Self-confidence, leader, and power. Now, this is totally why I got the deck. This goes really well with my tattoo, actually. I have a bear tattoo with the woods in it. So that's cool. Danger, warning, guidance. Slowing down and pacing yourself, which is cool as a turtle. So it's not a big deck, mind you, but I think it's a really cool deck. So I'm excited to use that. I think it'll really go well with um, my Divine Feminine. I think that'll be a really cool match, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. All right, guys. So that is it for this. I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing of the Font Home Tarot. Um, I am so good that I got to share that with you guys, and I can't wait to get into it. So let me know down below what your thoughts are. And if you got it, if you want it, anyway, anything. So comment down below. Don't forget to share, like, notifications, all the good stuff. Hit up my Facebook group at Tarot Net Plans and on Instagram at Tarot Net Plans. And until next time, bye guys.